So we got Sparks Key. Yeah, did we just complete a quest? Probably from him reading that, or I don't know. I no. would not be surprised. Why do well, I have a barrel so... with 26,000 gold in it? Uh, that hmm. would be on you. <laughs> what? There's a barrel you in my did that. What the? What the? F oh, that's I don't just, know. That's, that's just all of my gold, mysteriously in a barrel that's somehow in my inventory. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go away, barrel. I don't know. I don't understand I don't, what my life is. I haven't been... I, I did barrel sabotage in the previous game. I don't rehash jokes very often. I forgot that I have 122 herrings in my inventory. <laughs> I've added to that. We never did find out where the vault was, though. That was the archive. Uh, the, all these things are vaults. Wait, were you guys able to give her the book? No. no. Wait, everyone left? Yeah, she's just there for flavor. Yeah. And yeah, oh. we left. Oh, uh, why does Bird look like a cowboy? I kind of look more like Van Helsing, honestly. We all look kind of like Van Helsing now. Yeah. Except Sebel. Sebel looks absolutely nothing like Van Helsing. <laughs> no. I, I would argue that, uh... That the Red Prince will never look like Van Helsing. <laughs> That's probably for the best. I don't know, we'll have to play the game Van Helsing to compare I look notes. Like, I look like a world of... We could. I'd rather... Uh, I'd like to go back to play uh, Victor yeah. Vran at some point. Yeah, the tree oh, definitely... Yeah, I found the Victor dwarf's Vran. treasure. The tree definitely looks more spirity than before. Yep. The tree's spirit embraces its putrid host, an elven ancestor lost to the same demonic disease that infects all of Blood Moon Island. Qui. Manduk had omnio myrdus acts, it quot potest edse. Your hand passes through the spirit to rest against the corrupted ancestor. It is rough to the touch, save the Fane has found a thing. I'm gonna quick bar. check something. I just realized I have the uh, I have the archivist journal. I'm gonna try talking to her very quickly. Okay, go and for then it. had we not tried uh, to talk we'll to the tree before? No, I, none of us uh, have actually I, talked I, I, with the I tree. I clicked all over the tree, but nothing happened I was last for, time. Yeah. I just clicked on it once. <laughs> and, I, and I was just going through it in the background because I thought it must have already happened, but I thought maybe I'd get like a bonus for my character somehow. Who's everyone listening to now out of the two of us? Uh, I'm listening to, uh, I'm listening yeah, to you, I, but I'm waiting for... Uh, give me a second, the, I'll be the right there. Does anything. Wait, hold on, what? Oh. Oh, we did get the green teleporter pyramid. Yeah. yeah. Give it to Bird. We Bird did. has it. Oh, okay. That's why I was being was a whole... about the teleporter pyramid. Yeah, that okay. was the whole green's hey. my favorite color conversation. Yep. Ah, okay. I thought you were talking about a book. Well, there's a tree spirit... Yeah, to be fair, I was not talking in very concrete terms about there's it. There's a tree spirit <laughs> embracing the elven host ancestor demonic disease bleh, that's corrupting the island. And it spoke nonsense, so I was I tried to reach out to divine its secrets. Your hand passes through the spirit to rest against the corrupted ancestor. It is rough to the touch, save the pustules dotted across the bark. Yet there is nothing to divine but rough bark and swollen pustules. You cannot say which elf spirit inhabits this tree, or how it came to suffer its second death. You try to recall learning this unusual language, but come up short. Insist it speak a familiar tongue. Nin ect mehi, elgo pertidi ect ombre en mihre. Anyone know uh, Pig Latin? <laughs> Greet the spirit by name. Alanessa, you know her story. She is safe with you. A moment passes, then you feel it. Clarity. You speak my name. You know my torture. Please, don't judge me for the sickness my roots have spread. I can be free. My soul cleansed. Insist that freedom from undeath is easily sought, but not so easily obtained. And yet it is not impossible. Consider. You awakened me from nightmare with a single utterance. My name. How amazing that a name can wield so much power. Retain that lesson, and I can triumph over undeath. 
The demon I hosted blackens another land now. It possesses the very doctor that liberated it. Speak demon? its name, however, and you expose it. You weaken it. You'll know him when you find him. A doctor that accommodates a demon doesn't see patients. Only victims. Destroy it, and you free me to the Hall of Echoes. Destroy it, and my roots taint this isle no longer. Now come closer. I'll say the demon's name only once. Yep. <laughs> the train's gonna try eating you? I don't know. It's okay, Fang can't <laughs> smell shit. <laughs> Step closer True. and shut your eyes. You are ready. The spirit's voice is a harsh whisper. Oh. A drama leak. Drama mean? Tell her about oh, the archivist's journal and ask her how she came to be possessed. Naivety. Stupidity. Call it what you want. I wished to put the source within me to good use, and demonology seemed as good a use as any. Silly me. That was I meant stupid to summon an imp or two. Instead, I ended up hosting a damned archdemon. The roaring in my head. The craving for living flesh. Urges. Good gods, the urges to kill. To hurt. The stronger they became, the harder I fought. And at some point, I was just gone. Deadened. But not dead. And then, awake. On an isle I'd never been. Encircled by faces I'd never seen. Watched by a man I'd never known. They called him Doctor. He shouted strange words and the demon bellowed. Then, one by one, I... Ignore her hesitation. What happened next? They <laughs> fell. I watched my own hands slaughter them. I tried to resist, but I couldn't. And then a final roar when the demon rushed away and into the only one still standing. The doctor. That was my last living memory. The demon may be gone, but its disease still infects my roots, birthing evil into the surrounding soil. While it lives, I am still its rotting servant. I've suffered. The Isle has suffered, but you can end it. How? Who's supposed to do to her? Uh, we're supposed to kill the doctor. Where's the doctor? Nuclear missiles. Uh, the doctor's in the next chapter. Why is there so much oh, stuff oh. on the floor over here? Oh, because I uh, I all, all the dead things. Oh. Oh, all the just books decided and to drop shit. all uh, your old spare keys. Yeah, just dropping stupid yep. stuff. <laughs> Lucky find. So everything on Blood Moon Island is dead. Why are you picking it up? He's nice. He's a pack rat. <laughs> okay, so, they can go in my uh, key bag with all the keys. Nice. <laughs> okay. I keep all my, my keys own... in a bag so I don't so they don't clutter my inventory. My bag is full nice. of books. I have three bags. Ah. Okay, things we need to do. Find Tarquin. Uh, go back to Jahan. Um. Well, Tarquin's by the graveyard. It. Yeah. Are we finally done with Act 2? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Probably. Oh, like, we've God. got a couple of things, like, we've acquired an unusual gem decorated to look like an eyeball. Like, okay. <laughs> there, there are quests in this game that are like well, at some point uh, incomprehensible to follow up on we're like oh yeah, shit okay, I don't know so what you the, want from me the journal says we found an ornate skull embedded in the wall it seems to be missing one of its yellow gemstone eyes Oh. found a strange puzzle of glyphs and pressure plates holy shit where was that that was a long way down. Oh, yeah. we still haven't gone back to that weird room that had the weird symbols yeah, on the pressure plates. Yeah, because we can never figure out which... Oh, which geez. Well, missing. let's go back to the graveyard either way. Yeah, we found that way. in the first session that never saw it again. And I wanted to solve it because it was like a puzzle room. I'm like, yeah, puzzle oh, room. Yeah, all right. Uh, uh, yeah, puzzle room. Oh, uh, yeah, puzzle room. I don't think that was even in the graveyard. It was. It was the graveyard. It was in one of the mausoleums, remember? 
Yeah, and there was also the uh, shark thing with the with the boy's arm in it, but I don't know if we ever. Oh, I I either. talked with the little children and I told them their friend Smells was dead. Oh. Than a dozen the boy's arm particle. Oh God, the Higgs boy's okay. arm. <laughs> wow. Oh, I found Tarquin. Oh, you did. Uh, oh, hold on, don't move. Oh, oh yeah, you can teleportal to me now. It only got oh, better. Yeah. Hey, Tarky! I've been wanting to buy stuff from you for ages. Hey, Tarky. I mean, Tarkin's ah, been he's... here this whole time. He sells yeah, butt but garbage. Now we, we, well, knew he, so, we knew no, he was he, here. He, no, no, no. He moved, he wasn't he moved from... here. He moved from, the, from a different area. Yeah, he yeah. was on the southern section of the graveyard top here. For whatever reason. Okay, well... Well, that's funny. You might have to give him it to him in halves. Yep. Because... Oh, my sun-baked friend. Any luck on old Lady Surya's tomb? Show him the object you found. Is this what he wanted? He places his hand on the artifact, and it drones in the demonic tongue. When, as one, I am slayer of sin and the bane of the living, restore my twin, make me whole. The object continues. In archive of old, the blade resides, an isle of blood where demons abide. It's true, then. Anathema within reach. Oh, Tell this me, is anathema. Is this all there was? There weren't any other curios in there? So we just finally got the sword he asked for, like, like at the beginning of the game, practically. Yeah, so he had yeah. asked us to get the first half, but we didn't have the full thing, so we're just like, screw it. Also, Tarquin was always kind of sketchy, so there was that too. Anyway, consider Tarquin. He knows the demonic tongue. But of course. I consider it my scholarly duty to know what I can of them. Surely you of all people understand the quest for knowledge. He breathes a long, lugubrious sigh. <sighs> <laughs> it's time I leveled with you. This is the hand grip of the fabled anathema. A sword capable of annihilating anyone. Even a divine. Imagine it. Holding in your hand a force that could wipe away sun and shadow. A sword of life and death, miracle and sin, a sword of atonement. I can restore Anathema to working condition, but this is only half of it. We still need the blade. How fortunate that the hilt has already told us where to find it. Blood Moon Island. Reveal to Tarquin your experience with the spirit in the heirloom. Fascinating. And it told you exactly where to find it. Histories are wildly incomplete. But now I have a better picture of how Anathema came to be. An exorcised demon living in a sword of glass. The hilt was brought here by one of the many Surreys. Not surprised. None of them sound too bright. I can't imagine having even half a demonic sword around was very healthy for that feeble-minded family. They probably wince whenever a black cat came around. Let's see, show him the artifact you found in the archives. Is this the other piece? The object quivers as Tarquin nears it and hums a response. Connected as one, the past and present slain. Absolution and redemption await the one whose sins are many. Oh, very good. Very, very, very good. This, my friend, is the key. Give me some time and every deity in existence will tremble at the sight of you. He holds out his hand expectantly. Hand over the parts. You'd like to see what this anathema can do. Lovely. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must work. Look at the Tarquin experience turns reward. away, but continues to mutter excitedly, almost religiously, wow. about anathema. Wow, that was no experience. <laughs> it's such an old quest that it gives you 1% of a level. Holy crap. Less than now. Yeah. Like, we're actually higher level than him by a lot. Yeah. Yeah, no, we could. I could two, one or two shot Tarquin if I wanted to. Like right now. Oh, yeah, easily. How's that cool. feel, Tarquin? Your dick, How's you want to tell feel, us about it? Tarquin? You want, you want to tell us about your weird and sordid past now? <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try talking to him again. Are you sure? Yeah, I just paraphrase it. Okay, yeah, so he's just gonna go back to the ship. Okay. Alrighty, cool. So we need to go... Into a we want to go to Jahan. 
Oh yeah, but I mean we're here, here right now, so we should do the thing that has the. Uh, thing. That's underneath Mortis's house. The dwarf. I'll head for uh, I'll head for Jahan because oh uh, I can get back to him easily because I'm used to walking to his house to buy things. Okay. If you guys want to start uh, futzing with that puzzle. I don't. Uh, where's Mortis's house again? Uh, it's in town, on the uh, western side. As long as you stay put, back there. You'll be safe. How do you keep track of all these quests? The, so the square. dog was in the graveyard saying it smelled like the fish market, and that's a quest. Yeah, yeah. well, that's the dog that we released from uh, Town Square, obviously. Yeah, so there might have been something with it, but a little But I late. can't tell us that the game doesn't tell us if they're complete or not, so I can't tell if they're complete or not. I'm sure yeah. there might be more to it, but at this point, we're probably... We like probably I, don't need to care. Like, I went to the cow quest, and just I just clicked on it and said set as an active. Just to remove it from the well, list. Well, we're done it, with the cow quest. We finished that. But it doesn't say it's done as the problem. It doesn't say closed, oh, yeah. and it doesn't leave the list. So, I, like, I manually I removed it because I'm pretty now. sure it's over. I'm just frustrated Bird, the game here, doesn't complete the quests correctly. Uh, I thought it was going down to Mortis's house. I forgot. You have to talk to Jahan because he's part of your story. Oh, right, right. Okay. Uh, inventory. Right-click on teleporting. Yeah, the real, the real low story, not the uh, the jokey one that we've. <laughs> oh, you guys are off in the woods. Okay, I'll I'll go to you guys. No, no, no. Yeah, well, this is just dialogue. Sure. You can come yeah, this is just dialogue. I'm I heading for. I be here just in case. No, John uh, doesn't attack us. Yeah, he just speaks really. And Berta has a really teleport paraben now, slow. so even if he does, you can just teleport to him. Yeah. I'm already there. I'm just trying to remember where the weird ruins were. I'm kind of poking around in, in some of the zones where the, that we went to when we were too low level to see if any of them stir up anything familiar. I think I know where it is. Breaking and entering! How fares the hunt, my friend? Except it's Jahan, so you gotta... Way too fast. Because it's Jahan, oh, yeah, yeah you gotta pronounce slow. it like... How fares the hunt? Mine, uh, friend. <laughs> That's where I just was wandering. I don't think it's in there. Down here? Oh, oh yeah, I found it. it. Yeah, I found it. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Well, just listen in to us. Well, okay. Her. How fares the hunt, my friend? Tell Jahan the good news the advocate is dead. You killed him yourself. Me, Losa, nobody else. He smiles brightly and pulls you in for a short, if warm, embrace. That's weird. Most excellent, Losa. Most excellent. Then you I know Jahan. how twisted yeah. the paths can get. How much more alluring the sunny glade than the rock-strewn hollows. But you know it's the darkest roads that lead to light. It will be my honor to teach you. The nature of my lesson, though, might be somewhat different from what you expect. I can deepen your bond with the Source, <laughs> but you must realize that this bond comes at a cost. Now we're good. We already wiped out the entire forest of living critters for that. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, we already got it from Wabbit. All life, after all, sustains itself by consumption. Like the grass feeds the herd, and the herd feeds the hunter, so you must feed, for instance, on these. These nuts. <laughs> he waves a hand to the cage in demonstration. Uh, he wants you to eat the demon? <laughs> Go shake for your it. head decidedly. One is enough, and no, you no, don't no. Hold on. Uh, so. He gives a unique reward, like, can only get it from him, so let's save before you do this. Okay, there we go. Okay, just to make sure we don't power screw ourselves. E. Okay. Shake your head decidedly. One is enough, and you don't intend to let more of them in. Don't worry, Losa. Do you really think I would add to the burden you bear? What I will teach you will rend them, so that in time, I hope... You may rend the one within. Through demise, a chance of divinity. Are you ready? Yes, nod resolutely and say that you're quite ready. Then let us begin. 
Jahan's incantations befog your mind. All of you is thumping blood, pumping, pumping, pumping. Then, all you hear, then all that is, is screaming. From the cage to you, their blood in your ears, screaming. <laughs> oh, come on, it could have at least been a second sound effect. Silence. That is all. Their sons have set to serve a greater dawn. The world awaits your true awakening. You are very powerful already. A master of the source. But I did not let this burst of power go to waste. It lies condensed on parchment for you to read and learn. He hands you a book, hot to the touch. A sparkle with source. <laughs> Thank Jahan for his lesson. It was... Firing? My pleasure. And so we come to the second part of the plan. Follow through, and I will endeavor what you desire most. The exorcism of your demon. Okay, you go on. You see, the demon that you killed, the Advocate, he had a master. You might say the Advocate compared to his master like the pussycat compares to the tiger. It is the tiger I am truly hunting. The self-same tiger, I suspect, that has been haunting you, Losa. Now, don't you worry. I have no intention of sending you after this archdemon. There are few enough Godwoken as it stands for me to force them into any real danger. The one thing I would like you to do for me, though, is to return through the mist to the Isle of Blood and uncover there his name. I guess Got we're it. wrong. It's not Rackus Rex. It's, yeah, on, it's Abraham uh, Hill. It's Ambien. Yeah, a Ambien. Uh, tell no, him Jahan is Ambien. The demon is someone else. <laughs> oh. Tell him the demon is in Dr. Deva himself, and that his real name is Adramachlechik. <laughs> is that Hawaiian? Nah, he's Jewish. Jahan looks at you utterly flabbergasted, but soon an air of serenity descends upon him, that of a chess player overlooking the board. Adramalik. You have to admire his cunning. To think that in his guise of Deva, he and I shared the finest wines in the realm. Stories of the women we have loved. Thank you, Losa. You have done me an unparalleled service. And you've quite humbled me at the same time. Good. The time has come for us to invoke the demon. Lure him out of his cave with his name. Ooh, I like where this is going. Adramalik. Adram. A wave of rage washes over <laughs> you as Jahan speaks the creature's name. The demon heard him. He heard him, and he's furious. Can you blame me? <laughs> no. We, all, we didn't uh, need that. Bloody Mary, I Bloody Mary. Out, I I'm, think I'm just glad he's not going over his backstory. I think it's so <laughs> weird that he and the doctor were just boozing it up and talking about all the boozing women that they cruising. slept with? Yeah. Like, come hey, on. I mean, yeah. There is great power in names. Just like Source is the language of creation, a demon's true name is the core of its existence. It's be-all or end-all. His end-all will be your be-all. For you are Losa, not Adramalik. You are Losa. Oh. Are you ready? Yes, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do I listen? Wait, no, number three. Read number three for He's a second. Like, how do I listen faster? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I can't in good faith say no, that. No, no, I'm not saying say it. I'm saying just like this is happening faster than you thought it would. <laughs> no, it's happening so much slower. Do you want to hear Jahan be like, Losa, 
You Are can do you it. sure that this is truly the path upon which you wish to trot? God. They, oh, they God. have a great voice actor for him. But so great. Jahan He's the be, best one. Jahan I think. would be perfectly paced for a 999 playthrough. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Your palms prick with sweat. Your heart starts to race. Your mom's spaghetti. Yes, you're ready. <laughs> and close your eyes. And do as I do. Your hands still in his, Jahan begins to inhale slowly, deeply, then exhales audibly through his mouth. I'm a pretty princess. Synchronization. He begins to hum a low, rumbling note. <laughs> and then he, and then he becomes the seventh person to bite your neck. Doing <laughs> 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 throw singing. Then, suddenly something coils within your chest, and a shout lacerates this brief moment of serenity. Where it? Quiet! <laughs> uh, hey, the ghost of the wabbit just goes bursting forth. <laughs> yeah, it just rips, rips out of you alien style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Adramalik! Your right arm suddenly falls from your body, or it feels like it does. You have no control over it, nor does it hang at your side. You know what you must do. Choke this man who stands before you. Squeeze the life from him. My character looks cool. Being possessed by the demon, but uh, basically... I like both of these options. They both are cool. I'm going to go with uh, fight the urge with all your might. Your muscles burn inside you, but you manage to slow yourself just enough so that Jahan has the time to duck away. Quack. A drama leak. Thousand named nemesis. Lord of Soot. Come shake black hands with me. Leave her. Leave her. Come play with me. Your stomach churns. Your mind goes numb. This is the end. This is the... Drama leak. Uh, Come out and yeah. play. I thought the drama leak was the guy that was possessing the doctor. <laughs> oh, number one is if you Wait, give in to hold the demon. But then he, the demon he, says that. He, he, like, also left. But, uh, these are all demon, demon lines. No, okay. but remember he he possessed the doctor, and then he also after the uh, after that like also became a free spirit and possessed Losa. Oh, okay. Yeah, they are all. Yeah, yeah Jahan. Because Jahan said he suspects that they're both possessed by Drama Leak. Yeah, uh, he had to kind of read between the lines a little bit. It was okay. Super clear. That was weird. Yeah, it's it's a little bit on the fast and loose. Wander, do you remember why writing. why Jahan's immortal? Because I think it was in his backstory in the previous... Oh, wait, of yeah, course you don't first, remember. Uh, he got double-crossed by a demon in the first one. He was like an emperor or something, and he became kind of the immortal emperor, but it like screwed him over somehow. Okay. Uh, and You're he just was, gonna be like, in every game to haunt us again with his voice acting? Probably, yeah. Probably. <laughs> just like Brachus Rex. I can't wait for Divinity 3 when we play as four drama leaks. I mean, four Jahans. <laughs> Alrighty. Such frightful shouting. What? Losa wasn't good enough company for you? Listen to me, demon. I know why you chose her. I know what it is you fear the most and therefore desire the most. But I'll not let her serve you any longer. You will crawl back to the pit that spawned you. Uh, I like only thing I'm crawling toward is divinity, you silly little man. And no man can stop me. Uh Always with the pig Latin. He places a palm on your forehead. It burns. Get your hand off me. He presses his palm harder against your head. You're immobilized. You're in pain. I'll make you bleed. I'll make you bleed from every hole in your face. Cow mail saravel, tamarel saravel, mashtu, stanelu. 
You're shrinking, shrinking back, back to the safe and the dark, back behind where Losa lives. For now. It's no use. It's too late. Aw, oh, shit. Uh, safe. Losa? Losa? Is it you? You hear nothing but the slow, hard beating of your heart. Um, follow the sound. Thud. The sound grows louder. Thud. Stronger. Thud. There you are. There you are. Losa. You feel something. A soft haze of light in the frigid dark. Uh... Stay you... still. It's dark here. Familiar. Safe. Come back, Losa. Come back. You the light draws you forward. If you can reach it, something will happen. You know something will happen if you can only reach it. Thud, thud, thud. Your heart beats faster. The light grows bright. You're nearly there. Reach out. Touch the light. Feel the vibrations of your heart around you. No, sir. He's behind you. Oh, shit. Something grabs onto your foot. Its grass burns like white hot fire. Kick it off. Get it. Reach out the light. Grab hold what's beyond. God damn. Bright light blinds you. There you are. There you are. He looks tired. His brow is wet with sweat. You almost didn't make it. Uh, nod. You almost didn't, but you did in the end. I... I failed you. He's not coiled around your heart. He has become your heart. Try as I might, he would not shift. I am truly sorry, Losa. But do not despair. I will not give up on you. We must simply take a darker path still. Confront a Dramalik in his lair and deal with the demon face to face. Now, when you say we, does that mean you have to come along? Because uh, <laughs> we kind of want to finish this game before Christmas. He teaches you the <laughs> Summon Jahan spell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not using that. To think that in his guise of Deva, he and I share the finest wines in the realm. Stories of life and love. But now I know where he hides. Afraid of his own name. If you summoned him, he'd be like Hepa really powerful, but his turns know. would take five minutes. <laughs> travel with you, if I may. Ah, uh, not with the last of your strength. Tell him where the Lady Vengeance is docked. I will meet you there and prepare for the coming battle. You'll yet be all. <laughs> Be all Sorry, last one off. No, I couldn't. Under I couldn't man. Understandable. <laughs> it's like a. Uh, it's actually like Witcher Three, where there's a big fight you're gearing up for, and you're kind of amassing a bunch of different NPCs oh. to all go there. God, our gear is so much better than the quest rewards at this point. He had a. Cool. That was actually fun. I liked that whole segment. I'm gonna send Rainbow Raise Bone Widow to. Red Deal. Prince got off so much better than everyone else in the story. This looks yeah. neat. Summon Poor Red inner Prince demon. is like, I'm my gonna... wife who's married. <laughs> and you're uh... just like, ripping demons out of your heart. <laughs> I like how I'm just Jesus. looting Jahan's house. I'm gonna send this to you, Fane. It's probably pretty cool. There's such a disparity from character to character. Yeah. Does the, the dwarf have demon. anything bad? Conjure a demon that will share their intelligence with you and provide 945 magic armor. It costs a source point, so it's a little bit... It doesn't sound that great, but... Uh, what school is I this mean, even? Oh, summoning. Summoning. Yeah, yeah. It's summoning. Huh. Go for it. I need more Ah, yeah, slots. this is a Jahan's diary. The brittle pages of this volume are filled with notes written in an elegant hand of Jahan. Oh, the elegant hand of Jahan. Some of these entries date back more than a thousand years. And he also had a hymnal. Because he started writing them a thousand years ago and just finished. <laughs> he just finished. Dear diary, today <laughs> I went to the grocery store 
It I bought was nice. <laughs> I I bought a potato, a carrot, another potato. I saw All potatoes. Everyone else is already in the special chamber. So what's the code? What's oh, yeah. the pattern that we're supposed to get? We're gonna figure it out. Uh, it's if you use spirit vision, you can see it. I'm already halfway done. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, I see this. Yeah, so cool. um, so the way it works is uh, surrounding a tile with two gives you fire. Surrounding it with three gives you yep. uh, grass. And just having one of You're almost done, dude. Is, yeah. Except for this fire in the lower right. That's going to be weird. Uh, it's not gonna work. No, no, you no. need to put it one down, <sighs> I would think, because you can't activate that one in the upper corner. Yeah, I don't know. I get Actually, irrationally I think... angry when I drag, like, oh, right between go. tiles and it deletes itself. Or what? Yeah, you, you want to have it... There we go. But that's all air. You don't want that. No, no, you want the bottom to be air. The bottom left shouldn't be air, it should be a blank tile. It should be blank. Well... Yeah, that's a good point. Here, um, that's broken. Uh, let's let's. Whoop, put no, this that's a good point. Here. Maybe move this here. There we go. That's looking good. And we need to move that. That's uh, looking really good. Yeah. So we need a. Uh, we need one vase right here, and then I think we're go golden. Well, the problem is we still. Yeah, need and there we go. The door's open. Oh. Yep. God, oh. the, the vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> Every time anyone's Alrighty. touching anything, there's another screen shake. 